Okay, so in this question here, we're just looking for the current, and this is just a simple I equals V over R formula. So I can just do uh, 1.5, and I'm going to divide that by 10. Um, not very difficult at all. So you put that in your calculator, you should get your answer. And uh, what would that answer be? Let's find out right now. It should be 0 0.15. There we go. I do not know why it took long for that. You just move the decimal point back. Anyway, moving on. So 15. N identical resistors are connected in series, and the resistance is R. What is the resistance of N? So what you're doing here, what is uh, the equivalent resistance in series? So there are two ways that this question can be asked. Um, if I have, like, for example, give it a number. Let's say I have three resistors, um, three resistors, and let's say the three ohms each. Okay, fine. So I will have three plus three plus three. This is the rule, right? Series resistance. You add the resistors together. This will be nine. Uh, alternatively, what I could have just done is three times the three resistors that I have. So nine, three times three is nine. What have I done? I have done my number of resistors and I multiply that by the, the value of the resistors. That's all you do, so it's, it's not complicated. Maybe I just made it sound complicated now. So you'll do N times R. That's how you find it. If I had, let's say, five resistors, and they were all five ohms each, I can just do five times five, and that will give me my total resistance in my circuit. Uh, the opposite is true. There's another thing you can do for the resistors in parallel. If you wanted to do resistors in parallel, you can do the 1 over and plus 1 over 10, for example, plus 1 over 10, I made the number up, and you will get your answer. Or if they're identical, you divide by the number of resistors, not multiply. So this might ask you for parallel. If it asks for parallel, then you would divide by them. If I had resistors like two of them, I will do 10 divided by 2. You will get the same answer of 5, because this is, of course, 2 over 10. 2 over 10, flip both sides and you'll get 10 over 2, which is also going to give you 5. Same thing will happen if I had 3 of them, 10 over 3. If I had 10 of them, 10 over 10. So in series, we will multiply. In parallel, we will divide. So keep that in mind for whatever the question might ask you. All right. You make a series combination. You have one which is very high and one which is very low. So we're going to find the total. So again, we can check this out here. So we have two resistors, R1 and R2 in series. R1, so I'm looking at question 16 now. R1 plus R2 in series. OK, so uh, R1 is a large, RB is small. So let's just make it up. Let's say R1 is large, so let's say 100 ohms. Plus, let's say small, let's say 1 ohm. And the final answer is 101, 101, of course. This is A and this is B. Now, let's compare. Um, how does my final answer look? 101 is a little bit bigger than A. It's slightly greater than resistor A. So this is what would happen in series. What if I asked you for parallel? You would find that uh, not by doing this. You will double check for parallel. You know the rule. It should be 1 over R plus 1 over R. If you don't know the rules and get to know the rules, this is going to be my final answer. What does that mean? Let's find out. I will do 1 over 100, check in your calculators, plus 1 over 1, for example, and I'll have to remove the 1 overs by just doing that directly into my calculator. I will get my answer for resistors in parallel. That's a way to do it. And you'll get your final answer. It'll be 0 point something, maybe 0 0.8, I don't know. And you'll get 0 point. The idea is it will be slightly smaller than the smallest resistor every time. If I have two resistors in parallel, the total resistance is going to be smaller than the smallest resistor. In series, of course, this question is asking for series. In series, it will be larger than the largest resistor. So there we go. Over here, we're trying to find the voltage. Potential difference is voltage. V equals IR. No problem. We have the I, 4. We have the R, 5. Uh, because they're in series, 3 plus 2, 4 times 5 will give me 20. Okay, moving on to this one. Three resistors are together shown, and what is it asking for? Uh, what is it asking for? The current through R2. Okay, well, it's a trick question, of course, because the current through R2 is the same as all the currents. It is the same current. So there's not going to be greater or smaller. The voltages can be different, of course. 
but not the current. The current is the same. There's only one path. If you're if you are walking down through this resistor and you're now here, you have to keep walking through all three resistors. You will get very tired by the end of it. You will use your energy in all three. So you don't have anywhere else to go. You have to pass through all three resistors. So in this case, the answer would be A. Very nice. What is the voltage across this 8 ohm resistor? Now, actually, there's two ways you can do this, in fact. Um, there is the general way that we've been doing it so far. First of all, we can find the current, then we can do V equals IR. I can find the total current first, so let's try that. I equals V over R total, by the way, because it's the same circuit. The current's flowing through both resistors, so I must include both resistors to find the current. I will do 12 divided by 4 plus 8, because in series you add, that's 12 as well. 12 over 12, that will just give me 1. 1 amp, not a problem. Then you want to do V equals IR. V equals IR, no problem. Why is it not a problem? Because I is 1 and R is 8, and that will just give me 8 volts. So I have 8 volts for this resistor. This is 8 volts. This would be 4 volts, not because the values are 8 and 4. It just, just happens to be the case. The, the idea here is 12. If some of it goes to 8, the remainder of it will be here. So depending on what the question asks you for, if it asks you for each resistor, the voltage across each resistor, um, you'll have 8. 12 minus 8 will be 4. Another way to do it, by the way, this is another way. Uh, we're doing this in the 12 generals. They are given this as a formula, but you are not given it as a formula. I have shown you it in class as an alternative solution. You're not required to memorize this formula, and it won't be given to you, but I'll show you anyway. It's a nice one. It's a ratio. We did do ratios when it came to finding the the enclosed current, and we did it in term one when we were trying to find the enclosed volume of a sphere, but the idea is the same. So this is going to be finding the ratio of the voltage. Multiply the supply voltage by R divided by the total R, R total. So this is a ratio. So what am I doing? I'm taking my 12 volts and I'm going to multiply that by my 8 ohms divided by how much of the total resistance is 8? The total resistance is 12. 8 over 12. 12 multiplied by 8 over 12. Well, of course, the 12s cancel, don't they? You will get the same answer. You'll get 8 volts. Uh, so they just happen to cancel. You will get 8 volts. And that way, you do it in one step without needing to find the current first. If you don't want to do it that way, no need. It doesn't matter because the other way will work fine. Just need to do a two-step solution for that one. So now, this is question 20. It looks like we're talking now about internal resistance, which is what we're trying to find. Uh, there is more than one way to find these uh, answers. Uh, what we can do is, in this case, usually it's better to help me find the current first. The general formula is V equals I R plus R. R plus R. In fact, this is not really the general, general, general formula. Is the V total. The V total uh, will be the V main, the main voltage going into the circuit, plus the V lost. V lost. From this, we can just do I capital R, the main resistor, plus the I small r, because it's internal resistor, it's a smaller value, so you get a little smaller r. Uh, the I's are common factor, which is why it comes to here. Why am I doing this? It's because we're going to help me find the internal resistance. In order to find the internal resistance, I should know either the lost volts in the current or the general formula with the big voltage and the current. Either way, I kind of need to know the current. So can I find the current? Actually, I can. So there is not really a, there should have been a diagram to be fair. So if I had uh, this here as my diagram, this is my battery with my internal resistance, and I have my big resistor out here. If I was to connect these together, I know this is 15 ohms, 15. I know that the total unloaded voltage we have is 48, which is when there's nothing connected. When I connect the resistor, this number drops. This number became 45, 45.4 volts. So if I connected a voltmeter here, I would read the voltmeter would tell me 45.4. So I have the voltage across this resistor, and I have the resistance of this resistor. I can find the current through here. 
I don't use the big one because this one requires me to know both resistors. I don't know small r right now. So if I wanted to find the current, I will do V divided by r and the V for the big R. You see that this is the big R. So I will use the voltage for the big R, which is my V main, which is 45.4. I'm going to divide that by the resistor outside here, which is 15 ohms. 45.4 divided by 15 will give me, let's say, roughly 3 amps. Okay. Once I have the current, I can now solve it. There's two ways, to be honest. Uh, where can I do it? I'm running out of space. Let's get rid of all that. Uh, I can solve it by doing this. Uh, back into the big formula now. Um, let's do that. So I'm just going to do it over here. So I'm going to, no, I'm not. I'm going to do it over here. I'm going to do V, the main V. I just pointed at my screen as if you can see. Um, the main V is here. Sorry for pointing at the screen. I'll use my mouse. There you go. 48 equals I, I have it, 3, bracket, capital R, I have it, 15, multiplied by small r. I don't have it. I need it. Shift solve, and you'll get your answer for this. And hopefully, if you do this right, you should get 0.86. Another way to do it is you can just do um, small r uh, using, uh, using this part here. Small r is the V lost volts, lost, divided by the current. This is another way. I'll write r over here. So you don't have to do this. There's another way you can solve it. If I want to do this, I just subtract the two values. That will tell me my lost volts. I have 48 volts minus 45 0.4, that will be whatever answer that is, and I'll divide that by the current, which is 3, and you'll get the same answer. You'll get 0 0.86. So this is another way to solve it. You can use the big general formula here, or you can just use the lost volts part. I'm showing you both so that you know that there is more than one way to solve the same problem. So I have drawn over this, so this can go away now. Battery <clears throat> has an internal resistance of this, and a voltage of this. What is the load resistance that will make it drop? So we're trying to find the capital R now. The big R is what it seems to be that we're trying to find. So again, there's, there's more than one way to do it. So let's see how we can solve it. Um, so I'll start with the main thing. So the V total equals V main plus the V lost. I have 48 over here, 48, no problem. So now that I've done the 48, I'm going to equals to, do I have the V main? I do. 45.4 plus, um, I don't have the current, uh, I, R. Okay, I can do I small r. I can replace the small r with 1.3. So what I can now do is I'll replace the small r with 1.3 I times um, 1.3. I don't know why I did a bracket, don't need it. Uh, well, I'll do that, that's more. Um, solve for I. We can find the current first. So if I do this and I solve for I, I can get 2 amps. If I solve this here, I'll get I will be 2 amps. Now that I know the current is 2 amps, I can find the resistance R equals V main, V main, and we'll divide that by the current, which is uh, I. So I will solve it by just doing that, V uh, v main, what is the load resistance? Yes, so what am I doing? V main, 45.4 divided by 2. If I do 45.4, half of that basically will be 22.7. There we go. So I'm running out of time now. I'm going to have to stop this video there, and I'll continue in the next one. Thank you.